all right on this video I'm gonna kind of show you what not to do and some things to think for while if you're going to repaint your blow mold this one was done with an airbrush um, as you see some of the paint has come off some of it peeled off when I took the paint or the the frog tape off that I taped over areas that's why I, now I use the delicate surface, the purple or the yellow. I prefer the yellow. I think it's made by the same people that make the green frog tape. It seems to last, stay on a little bit longer. Uh, as you can see, the, the paint is pretty even. Other than where it's peeled off a little bit. Now this guy did have some repairs on his arm right here, here and on his hand where it turned out darker than the rest but you look at him from the front it's not really noticeable and I will uh, paint this hand again this part of the candy cane again that the paint peeled off of and this button I'll probably do again that one I'll probably redo that one will definitely be redone this guy was done, I'm not sure what he was done with, but as you can see, as you can see, it looks like crap to be nice. Uh, I think it was spray paint because I don't see any brush strokes in it, but as you can see, it looks like garbage. And this... I think they just sprayed over the old paint. I don't think he was stripped. And it, it just looks like crap. Even when you get a few feet back from him, it looks like crap. But anyway, he's got other problems also. He's got a big hole in his side. He's got cracks down here. He's got cracks down here. All that's going to be fixed but his hand is still good and his hat is still good so he may be cannibalized to fix these three guys as you can see they've got problems this one has been repainted somebody painted stripes on here to make a candy cane they repainted this part i'm not sure what width but it looks like garbage uh, i'm not sure if the green is original or not earmuffs are definitely not original but he's got a busted hand there he's got cracks on his hand there this is the one that was in the other video they had patched these holes with something I don't know what and then I had to remove it I'm gonna patch it I'm gonna try the thermoplastic pellets and see if I can make a patch to the look decent when it's repainted this guy his hand is gone he's got cracks right there I think he yeah he's got a crack down there on the bottom I'm gonna have to fix and some of his his earmuffs are gonna have to be painted his candy cane I'll probably I'll do something with it and paint his mittens on all three of these to cover the damage But anyway, when you get back, you know, I prefer to use Krylon spray paint instead of the, uh, I've got Rust-Oleum over here, I've got Krylon Fusion. There's some colors you can get in one, but can't find a good color in the other. That's why I use, that's why I've got both of them. If you do use an airbrush, practice with it first. I use Createx. Createx, whatever the hell it's called. Make sure you get the transparent. It lets more of the light through, but still shows the color. That's what I used on that guy. If you don't get the transparent, you'll get more of that effect, and you don't want that. I also have some of this. I don't know if this is transparent or not. I don't remember which one I used it on. 
you can buy the big can big bottles you can buy the little ones these are like I think about five bucks those are like 12 and just uh, learn how to use it before you start going after your blow molds so that you get the best result and remember the tape because you don't want to get the red done looking really good then tape over it tape the blue get it looking really good and then you go to peel the tape off the red and that's what happens you don't want that so use the delicate surface the yellow or the purple and then when you go along the edge just press it down with your fingernail real good to make get the best seal you can because it, it doesn't have near as much adhesive as the green tape has I tried using the blue painters tape that stuff belongs in the trash can so I don't even buy it anymore but the green frog tape on areas that are not painted works great just make sure you go along the edge of it also with your fingernail I didn't do that right there and that was the result so learn from my mistake and don't make the same one. Uh, one point about this, when I use when I patch this, I'm gonna use the thermoplastic pellets. I think I said my concern with them is once it's once it's done and it's put up for storage and you know, if it's out here in a storage building like this one, it's got a metal roof. I added, I think it's half inch foam board on there, but it still gets hot. I've got a window unit and a portable unit. I run the portable unit all day during the day, and I run the window unit during the day just to keep it down to about 75 to 80 degrees. Without either one of them running, it would get up to 110 degrees in here every day, easy. And I'm not sure how that those thermoplastic pellets would hold up if they would uh, start getting soft again, because you can heat them up again and reuse them. Or if you don't use them all when you first heat them up, all you have to do is throw them back in the water and then you can mold them again. So I'm not sure how they're going to hold up. I need to clean that guy out, but anyway. Um, that's about it for this one. If you learned something or you like it, click the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel and you get updates of videos when I start patching this guy and fi fixing this one's paint. Fixing those. Fixing a few more other ones over there I've got. Thanks for watching.